Hi, I'm Patu from Free Cal. Today, let's talk about a simple thumb rule for retirement planning, particularly for young uh, earners. And if they follow this rule, uh, preferably immediately after they start earning, um, ideally from the first uh, month salary, then the chances of achieving financial freedom by age 50 um, is exceedingly high. Uh, with this thumb rule, uh, at least some people may be able to, uh, you know, uh, enjoy a little bit of their salary and also invest right for their future. Not everybody, but at least some people. It depends on how much they earn. But we would like to emphasize that the following suggestions are only for those uh, at below the age of 30. Younger they are, the better the uh, applicability. Older investors usually have messy portfolios and they can either use our robot advisory tool or consult a uh, professional from our list of SEBI registered fee only financial advisors. Now, um, many people ask uh, after they start uh, earning, what percentage of my salary should I invest? Is it 10% or 20%? This is an incorrect way of thinking because um, f my feeling is that they feel guilty uh, if they don't uh, uh, invest that much. But that's an incorrect way of looking at uh, uh, you know money management. And the right way to look at it is a, a goal based way. And of course, at that age, the only goal is basically financial independence because uh, many of them are uh, unlikely to be married or have children, etc. So we will look at it from that point. And that's why it's a simple thumb rule for retirement planning. So first find out every month your monthly expenses. If you are spending some money for your parents or relatives, remove this amount. If you do have children at that age, uh, remove their expenses. Do not include EMIs or any expense um, that you think will not continue uh, that uh, when you retire. That is, on, take only expenses that you think will continue for your life. We will call that sum, that, that net expenses as X. So from now on, you need to invest every month until you retire, at least until you retire a minimum amount, let's call this Y, and this minimum amount Y should be anywhere between 75% to 100% of X. That's it. That's the thumb rule. So if you can do this from, if you can manage to, uh, to do this from now until you retire, it will not be easy uh, because you will get married, you will have children, you will have emergencies. Um, you'll have to take care of your parents, etc, etc. A lot of things will happen. You will relocate to another city. Maybe you will relocate to another country. You may want to buy one car, two cars. You may want to buy a second house, third house. So many problems are there. And um, but if you can, in spite of all these additional requirements that will come in future, if you can manage to invest this much minimum uh, 75 to 100 percent of your current expenses every year your expenses will change today your x will be something five years later your x will be something else it will be higher because of inflation and lifestyle changes positive or negative lifestyle changes so if you can manage to uh, invest that much when you are young at this age uh, between 20 to 30 achieving 75 to 100 percent of x is easy it's uh, relatively compared to other people com compared to older uh, investors if you can do this for as many years in your 20s, you would have built an excellent platform for your retirement. So uh, if, you're, if your uh, excess, that is your expenses are 30,000, then you will have to invest somewhere between 23,000 to 30,000. If you can invest more, perfect, please invest. Now, uh, this uh, investment should include the amount that your employer puts into your EPF, the amount that you put into the EPF from your salary. Of course, the employer will put some amount into EPS, but you can uh, exclude that. That's a very small amount that doesn't make, not going to make any material difference to your retirement planning. If you have NPS, the same argument will hold. So now what you must do is uh, you must invest 60% of the total investment into 
equity, stocks, mutual funds, etc. 40% of that into fixed income, EPF, NPS, PPF, whatever, etc. Where you invest does not matter as much as th this 60%, 40% allocation. Many people chase after 1.5 lakhs in EPF, 1.5 lakhs in PPF, 2.5 lakhs in EPF, whatever. They do all sorts of gymnastics, 50,000 in NPS. Oh my God, this saving tax business is the worst uh, financial mistake people can commit. That's, uh, that just messes up their life. People, people will appreciate it only years later, but that's life anyway. So <clears throat> you can maintain the 60-40 asset allocation for about 7 to 10 years at least from now. But after that, you can change it. It depends. I mean, it depends on how you uh, uh, how your view on portfolio management is and so on. The second most important part of the thumb rule is every year try to increase this Y that is a total investment. Try to increase this Y by at least 10% every year. If you can manage 10% every year uh, over the next to 15, 20 years, you can do uh, amazing things. In my case, I was able to achieve financial independence in about 10 years because the rate at which this Y was increasing um, is much higher than my actual equity XIRR. Even at the peak of bull run, when my equity mutual fund XIRR was uh, close to 20%, the rate at which my investments grew was much higher than that. It was about, I don't remember offhand, I calculated and wrote it, 22 to 25% somewhere like that. That is the, if you can, uh, that is the key factor in building wealth. You need money to build wealth. You don't, you cannot compensate for a lack of uh, 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 investable amount by returns. You cannot compensate that. So you have to be very clear about it. So, um, so if you can manage this at least 75 to 100% of X up to age 55 or so, you should be ready to retire. If you can manage this, then normal retirement is, I think, reasonably possible with the right asset allocation as mentioned above. Now, um, if you can invest uh, two times your expenses, three times your expenses, four times your expenses, then you can, uh, then the chances of early retirement, uh, that is by age 40 or 50 is definitely on the cards. I mean, it's very, very much possible. So that's it. I mean, this is the most important rule in retirement planning it doesn't matter whether you are working in it or not whether you have on-site opportunity now, many people are such losers you know when they see a financial uh, independence story they say oh that guy was working in it that guy went on-site I, if i go i will also become that kind of loser behavior was not going to get us anywhere i'm very sorry to say this it doesn't matter whether you have where you work what you studied if you can pull off y equal to 75 to 100 percent x you can retire normally i if uh, i mean if you cannot do this if you cannot invest 75 to 100 percent of x if you initially your y is much much less than x then don't give up work hard and increase your income uh, ensure your expenses do not increase when your income increases upskill yourself find ways to increase your income that is the only solution uh, complaining about other people is not going to help us in any way in my case also when i did my retirement calculation for the very first time uh, i could not invest the amount shown in the calculator i mean uh, i i showed it to pv subramaniam of subramaniam.com and he said the the all your uh, uh, assumptions are reasonable your output is correct uh, live with it so that's then i had to live with it then i i mean it's just that it so happened because of my career trajectory i was lucky enough to get a higher salary in uh, in you know after a few years and somehow i could manage so um, i mean many people may find find it hard to imagine uh, when at that time when i bought my term insurance the annual premium of uh, 35560 something like that uh, which is what I still pay today uh, because of my, I mean, at that time I was obese and all that. I had other, I had the blood pressure, higher blood pressure and so on. That was actually um, higher than my monthly expenses at that, at that point. So uh, today things are different. We have different products and so on. So that's how it is. When we start, everything will look daunting. Everything will look hard. The journey will look impossible, but we must have the hope and 
uh, you know have the discipline uh, people are people always ask sir i need motivation i need uh, encouragement nobody will give you motivation or encouragement you must motivate yourself and be uh, you know and force yourself to be disciplined and that's the only way we can uh, you know achieve success so uh, that's about it see you later